so to make automatic table of contents very easy so all you just need to do is everything that you want on the table of contents so you are going to select it so for instance certification is supposed to be on my table of contents so once i select it i make it heading one now so i can modify this heading one uh, you right click on this heading one so you click on modify then you can change it to instead of being blue change it to black automatic you can make it bold you can make the size 12 and then change it to times new roman and then um, centralize it yeah it's already centralized and then okay so this happens so every editing one you make we have that um, that edits that you just did so acknowledgements you do the same thing adding one okay same thing for abstract for every major heading you make them adding one every major heading okay this is the space i left for table of contents okay so let's just type table of contents in there so table of contents so then you make it in one then your list of figures make it in one what is just also showing your yeah so your chapter one which is introduction make it in one okay So these are these sub headings 1.1, 1.2, and all. Actually, there's supposed to be a tab, not a backspace. You use tab to space this uh, kind of numbering handle. Um, yeah, so but then I won't be we'll actually show that one in your manner of style later. Okay, so then this you make it add into like a sub heading so you can right click on that and to modify it and then change it to black obviously make it 12 make it times new roman make it boot and this one will not be centralized it will be to the side so you hit ok so that's for heading 2 so 1.1 so 1.2 you make it heading 2 ok so 1.3 you make it heading 2 ok 1.4 you make it add in two one point uh, so i think that is also your chapter two you make it add in one okay so your 2.1 will be 2.1 will be adding two uh, your 2.2 .2 will be adding two okay so this is list of figures so we'll still talk about how to create list of figures so 2.3 2.3 you make it add in two okay so 2.4 you also make it add in two so you just keep doing it like that so let me just move fast so that is basically all so we'll be talking about every other formatting later but at least this is just for table of contents so then you come to the space where you left for table of contents okay yeah so you you make sure that your cursor is on this place then what you do next is that um, you come to this place references okay so you click on references then you see table of contents here so you select the drop down menu okay so you can use automatic table of contents on or table of contents but i love table 2 so i'll select table 2 and then um, bingo there you have it your table of contents so you can so for this ties here you can just ctrl x has cut it so you have that so you can select everything because it's not in time Roman. so you can just select everything 
and um, change it to so you go home and then you change it to times new roman so what you can do now is, is let's say you are trying to adjust something and um probably your uh your one of the headings probably your 1.4 has to go to another page okay so it's now on instead of page 10 it's now on page 11 so you don't have to start changing it manually all you just have to do is come to this place right so you you come to this and then you see update field up here so you just click on this update field and then update page numbers only so let's say you added another another thing like um, another subheading so you can update the entire table so that that subheading will show but since it's just a page you know just some pages that um you rearrange just update the page number only and then boom you're going to have your 1.4 is now on page 11 can you see that so it's very easy and um, so anytime you are preparing your project just make use of it and it's very fast and reliable so you don't have to type that table of contents manually you don't have to do that all right so see you in the next video